Hello you guys, so today's recipe is pumpkin soup recipe as you could see. Thank you for tuning in to Life in General Vlogs. Here's some of my ingredients. I have carrots, sweet potato, onions, roughly chopped because everything is going to be emulsified at the end. Um, I also add yams sometimes, but today I did not have them. So we'll just do with sweet potatoes. I'll be honest with yams. It does taste a bit better, in my opinion. I have a pumpkin that I peeled. Uh, it was really difficult to peel, I'll be honest with you. If you have any tricks, let me know. And I cut it up already and I cut up all of my vegetables. I have three carrots, I believe, small to medium size, two yam, uh, two sweet potatoes, no yams, and one medium sized onion, a little bit of vegetable oil, and my lovely instant pot. I guess my best friend in the kitchen, I call it. My family loves eating this soup, especially my husband. Even my 14 month old toddler who does not wanna eat anything, she will actually eat this soup. Um, here I'm explaining, make sure when you wash your lid from the instant pot, you put everything back the way it's supposed to be. Otherwise, it will not pressurize. I'm using a very tiny amount of oil, uh, barely anything, just to kind of saute and give the, you know, the vegetables its color, like brown it a little bit. You don't want to overcook them. If you want to saute the onions first and do each one, I don't see the difference, especially that I have a little tiny human in a house. I don't want to over fry things. So once it's done, kind of sauteing a little bit halfway through. I'll add my pumpkin and then, sorry for the fog, I'm filming with one hand and cooking with the other one. My tripod is missing. <laughs> Anyways, this is how it pretty much, just like let it sit for like five, 10 minutes and then you'll see it kind of giving juices a little bit. And then I add like about a cup of chicken stock. That's what I had. A cup and a half barely any liquids as you could see it's barely covering anything but that's more than enough to cover your veggies because it when it pressurizes it's going to release more liquid and you don't want any more because at the end i'm going to actually add uh half and half usually i add coconut milk but i don't have it today and if you're making it a vegetarian or vegan um you could use you know vegetable stock or just water. So I'm going to add my spices in. I'm going to add like a, a tiny little baby teaspoon, I guess, half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to add my, a little bit of chili pepper, just a tiny bit. I have a tiny human in a house and I have to be very careful with spices. And I'm also expecting baby number two. And I'm sweet paprika very important. And then I'm also going to add um, a little bit of nutmeg. I know it sounds crazy, but yeah, it gives that interesting flavor. If you're not a big fan of nutmeg, you could skip this step. But turmeric, I highly recommend adding turmeric. That's what makes this uh, specific recipe of pumpkin soup so good. Uh, I promise you. I added a full half a teaspoon, I guess. You could put more than that. I usually put more, but you know, whatever. Anyways, and then a little bit of pepper. Once again, I have a little human in a house. Have to watch out with the spices. But turmeric is so good for you guys. You have no idea. And then this is going to be another strange one. Add a little bit of cinnamon. Just a tiny bit. Not too much. Don't overpower it. Here's all of my spices. I'm gonna mix it in. Oh, and I added two bay leaves also. And at the end, once it's cooked, uh, before I emulsify everything, I'm gonna get it out of there. It looks uh, pretty good to me already. It kind of, you know, gave the color and it smelled so good. And then I just make sure that I'm on seal, not on venting. And uh, I turn it off after sauteing. 
and I'm gonna just use you know meat stew that's how I like it don't do the soup I don't do the soup because um, I think it cooks it different and a different temperature so I'll either do the manual or I'll do the stew and soup and then I'll just adjust the time so once it's done I'm gonna go play with my baby do my things around the house and I will let this have a natural release for at least 15 minutes I did it for 18 minutes um, I'm not in a rush or anything this is how it looked it had a lot more liquid in it so that's why I said don't add too much because it's just gonna be too runny and it's not tasty usually I will add coconut milk I wish I had some I didn't and um, yeah so I had to use half and half usually I will always have coconut milk on hand it makes the soup so delicious uh, pairing it together with all the spices that I added it was really good I'm telling you my toddler who's 14 months old eats this soup she does not like to eat anything at this point in life um, this she will eat a whole bowl and she'll ask for some more and my husband loves it too well you guys I hope this was helpful it's an easy quick recipe I serve it like this this was for my husband with spices turmeric paprika and a little bit of chili peppers uh, for him and for me but for my little one no spices obviously just a little bit of a uh, sour cream and uh, we enjoyed it just a tiny bit of sour cream if you want to you don't have to I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video it was useful and awesome for you guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video have a good one and happy holidays. Bye.